Hello everybody, this is Ghost Hunter 385. I am back with more StarCraft, more commentary, and another topic for everybody. When the Protoss struck, she fell yeah, to no, retreating to prepare battle. positions the only Protoss works if you've got down. traps. She was intelligent, I mean, lots of traps, otherwise mistake, you're backing yourself into a corner like a rat. Basically, the hunt goes well, my queen. <sighs> it's bloody. I mean, those protoss would kill if you've read the art of war, one of the main that principles that Song Su teaches is never, ever is. run from your enemy. Lost, well, not not been. run from your enemy, always Purity move, your, always move yourself to be in a better position than your enemy, to be more precise here. But basically, it's if you're on death ground or, or ground where you have to fight for your, it's either fight or die, more than likely you will fight to live. <laughs> Interesting thing that Song Su understood. You don't change the rotation of a moon or a planet if you want to make it hospitable. If you want life on somewhere, you actually have to move it closer to the star, into the Goldilocks zone. I mean, just as an example, Earth, our Earth, depending on where the ellipses is, it can be hotter, it can be colder, and if you want a cooler summer, technically, if the ellipses is further away from the sun, you get a cooler summer. And if the ellipses is closer to the sun around winter time, guess what? You get a warmer winter, basically. A warm conduit. But in any case, everybody, let's get into today's topic. And today's topic is child rearing, child development. You know, however you want to phrase that. Should we destroy it then? Child raising, heck, you can go right there for it too. But basically, in a nutshell. The experts tell us X, Y, and Z, and you want to know what's sad about the experts is the experts themselves probably are wrong in some cases. Not all, no, I'm not going to say they're not wrong in all cases, but they are wrong in some cases. Let's get that straight. I'm not calling all experts dumb and stupid, because I've been to a, a university and it's a lot of hard work. It is Writing papers, doing this, doing that, trust me, it's all kinds of it, fun stuff, bring down basically. That shuttle. But, anyway, the folks, the point is, is that if you have kids and, and, you, and any parent here can tell we'll them, can the say that this is true, is that, that we well, the way you raise one kid is not how you raise the other, Large plus if the kid has special needs, that's a whole nother Ballpark here, folks. Get going. Whole nother ballpark. The swarm never now, I could just hear some people saying, Nothing What do you mean? Well, first off, we could start off with discipline, education, Push blah, ahead. blah, 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 blah. But the point is, is the experts the swarm never are not always right. How are the experts not always right? Oh, don't spank your kids. Just give them a timeout. Okay, that works only. Only if the kid actually takes the punishment. But if you do it too much, it does not become a punishment. Now, personal example here, let's just say somebody I know has a daughter. And for all the time, she used to ground her daughter so consistently that she would put her in a timeout so much that the timeout basically did nothing. She would literally, this little girl would literally go in a corner and just pout. That's all she would do. She would just sit there and pout until she was freed to go. Now, let me ask anybody here. If you think a pun, if spanking is too far how about punishment where you're just made to attention. do nothing while the brain Push goes stir crazy is that more cruel than getting spanked put it down in the comments if on that well for what There's you think oh and uh please if you see that like button down there all nice red and shiny please click on it so i you can tune into my content more thank you very much 
But back on to subject here is that there are many, many forms of abuse. Hell, even I'm a victim of abuse. Now, I'm not going to say what kind of abuse or abuses because that's not my trauma and whatever else is not Push ahead. part or scope of this video. And I also am trying to keep myself somewhat out of that personally. Yes. Thank you very much. Let's get this over with. But the point is is that Out you with it. have not much time. to understand where diff or good discipline becomes abusive. I hate to say the that, but that's the truth. Dear uh, Lord, is that the truth. A more complicated? Now, Do don't smother your kids too much as well, and, uh, and don't going. spoil your kid. I mean, I just watched a video today of a mother who came home crying, who was crying, because supposedly her 12-year-old kid was so spoiled that when she took There's away no the kid's cell phone because the kid was in trouble, he, this kid literally went on a running spree of their home and destroyed everything. The fridge, the toilet, the couches, everything. Trust me, it's crazy. Oh, I can already hear some people saying, well, the experts say don't don't harshly discipline your kids. Do you know what some people have gone through? Think about the gener the greatest generation that fought in World War II. Did they have all these people breathing down their necks? Did they have all these people saying, no, you can't discipline your kid like that. That's, that's wrong. Seriously? Have you looked at what happened to some people? It's crazy, right? Well, think about it for a minute. The greatest generation that came about in the United States were those who fought in World War II. They're considered the greatest generation. Did these did the kids who grew up before World War II? You know, they would have been young enough to see World War One. They were old enough to be a part of World War II, or at least hear stories of the Great War. Push ahead. However you want to phrase this that. World is mine. But the point is, Nothing stands is that in my way. until the, when the experts came along saying, we are wrong about this, that, and the other thing, and it's like, wait a minute, this is what you tell us, Who asked you? yet, in the past, in the past, so, as long as things were taken too far, there's not much time. Things were okay. Why is the swarm that? Never rests. Cognitive dissonance? No. The thing that the experts won't tell you, or they don't want to tell you, is simply this: is that when it it takes it can take a village to raise a child. So if it can take the village to raise the child, then doesn't that mean that the fam that ma, pa, whatever has to be able to assert control? Nothing stands in my way. And when a child gets lippy, they aren't necessarily trying to hurt the child, but it's like, hey, listen, we're trying to impart our wisdom on you. Oh, old people's wisdom is bugus. Yeah, who here is who here is one of those 90 kids who says, oh yeah, I'll never do this, I'll never do that, I'm gonna rock this, rock that, and then you blink. Get going. X many years later, you're still Push trying ahead. to be the 90s kid, except now it's like, I have to have a job? This, world this sucks. Mine. I don't want this. Can I just have fun? Never nope. Rests. Having fun does not pay the bills, unless you're very, Nothing very stands in my way. I hate to break that to people, but that's the sad, get this over sad with. truth. There's not much time. Is that as long as things weren't taken too far, Push ahead. you know... It works out. I mean, I just heard this today, yesterday, something like that. Story of a story of a farmer. Well, it was like a little short story. Every time he got his son got mad, he would have to nail nails into a fence. Son did it every day. He got mad. Blah 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 blah. And then you know he was forced to learn to calm down, not get so mad, not be so angry. Blah, 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 blah. The swarm never rests. And then, you know, after it's all said and done, the, then the father has the him go outside after he's put on the nails. You see all those holes in the fence there, son? 
the swarm never runs. This is the damage that can be done when you are a uh, ho 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 angry all the time swarm and you just hurt everything around you. Same concept. Just not we're not time. gonna sit there and baby everyone because of it. Nothing stands you know, in my I, way. You know, perfect world, all you should need to do is put a kid in timeout once. Once. And they should learn this their lesson. Is mine. But is that actuality? Is that reality in any sense? No, it's not. It's a pipe dream. And you have these people who are on crusades to protect the children, and it's like, you're trying to protect the children. Great, thanks. Quick question. Is also what you're doing harmful? <gasps> Ghost Hunter, you can't say that. Uh, yeah, I can. And here's why. Basically. E-experts can get stuff wrong. Ghost Hunter, no they don't. Uh, yeah they do. Oh yes, they Push do. Ahead. I mean, one of the biggest misnomers for police is the dang polygraph test. The person who invented it said it was a monster. He, he created, he had created a Frankenstein's monster. Why did he say that? Because all this, all a polygraph machine is, is you literally hook someone up to it. It monitors Swarm your pulse hunters. and other things. Basically, it was time. meant to be a diagnostics tool for medicine. And then, because they found out when certain emotional triggers are introduced, all of a sudden, someone who lies, all of a sudden their heart just goes beep, beep. Bing, bing, bing. Especially if they feel rest. guilty or if they're under a lot of stress, which happens in a lot of these cases. Push ahead. Now, Let's get this over being with. as that may, you know, the There's point no is, is that you can't always trust the experts because some of the stuff, techniques Speak and stuff quickly. that the experts rely on doesn't work. How does he mean it doesn't work? Okay, ask yourself this question. If the experts were so right, Who asked you? how and why is it that way more children Get misbehave going. today than any others? Anyone? Anyone? It's because there's no consequences for their actions. I mean, I don't Nothing know what show this way. was off of, but in a nutshell, mother goes on trial for spanking her kid, her son with a belt because this, I think they said, 11-year-old boy took her car for a joyride. And after this 11-year-old boy took this car for a joyride, he crashed into several things, broke ship. several things, and it was lucky nobody shuttles. got hurt. And of course, someone gets on video that she takes off her belt and starts disciplining him. Now, do I think a kid All should be spanked with the belt? The per be perfectly sky. honest, no. I don't think so. I think it should be used as a slight intimidation factor. Sure. But that's it. I don't condone spanking with any belts. At all. I mean, just as a little bit of a personal side here, my wife was spanked with a belt and she absolutely hated it. I'm not trying to demean her or anything, but she absolutely hates it. And she's so against it, she doesn't even like it when I take off the belt off my pants for just that little intimidation factor. I'm not trying to do anything wrong, not trying to do anything bad. I'm just trying to say, hey, don't do that. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm just making the noises to scare to scare the you kids. That's it. Attention. Well not scare, but try and get them to the never rest. you know, do you want Let's get this you know, it's just intimidation. Push I'm not ahead. going to. Not unless I absolutely this have to. And even then they would have to do something pretty serious. But the point is get going. Is that 
she had to discipline the kid and she did it in public and she took it too far. She bruised it. And of course she was convicted of child abuse in the TV show. That's the last. And you know, you know the thing that bugs me is that I understand, you know, why she why she was is was however you want to phrase that convicted in the show. But, but hopefully that lesson to both of them will teach them a one. Don't go joyriding in, in a machine that kills more people than cigarettes. Sometimes even Ghost Hunter, that's not true. Cigarettes kill more. Memories. Look, I've heard, I've heard the stats multiple times. Cars kill more people than cigarettes and well, not cigarettes, but guns. My bad. Cars kill more people than guns do. Let's just leave it at that. In any case, you thank you for watching. Queen. Hope you liked. And I will see everybody in the next video.